In 2018, some scientists played with snails. Wait, what? Hold on. In 2018, some scientists played with snail brains. This sounds insane. Let me get this straight. In 2018, some scientists transplanted a memory from the brain of one snail into the brain of another. But that's not quite right either. See, in 2018, some scientists took genetic product from the brain of a snail who had been trained and transplanted it into the brain of a snail who remained untrained. And those scientists, they observed something strange. That snail, still untrained, but now with foreign code in its brain, behaved as though it had been trained. And now it's important to note here that the training had been done with electric shocks. <laughs> And that is pain. And no, not enough to kill or maim, just enough to adjust the way that snail brain behaved. And for that god-awful memory of the shock to remain. And it's impossible to say whether the new snail actually recalled traversing that maze with its walls and electric shocks and its aquarium full of rocks, or whether it found itself suddenly, inexplicably, filled with the sudden, vague sense something bad was about to happen. They call that dread. And they've done this with rats too, you know, associated a sound with an ouch and found that same fear response in the subsequent rat pups. Presumably, this goes, far as, this goes as far back as history, this imprint of danger etched in our DNA. I sometimes find myself suddenly, inexplicably, filled with the vague sense that something bad is about to happen. And I wonder what happened to my mother, or her mother before, or her mother's 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 mother. It's always mothers, isn't it? Sometimes it's fathers, and family secrets, and a room just like this, with its walls and electric shocks, and doors that don't lock, and hearts that do. Our fathers into antiquity, who first tasted all those mushrooms and berries, who shaped our palates as they learned that a bitter taste meant poison was likely. Are you all familiar with the phenomenon of the uncanny valley? That's rhetorical. I'm going to tell you anyway, the uncanny valley phenomenon occurs when we observe something really overall on the whole, when taken together anyway quite human, yet not quite really overall, on the whole, when taken together anyway, human. And that discrepancy between what we know to be like and what is so subtly unlike is what forms the valley uncanny that grows so full of dread that it overflows, like a pot of pasta boiling on your stove directly and flows directly into our gate gullets and finds home in the pits of our stomachs to bubble and flood and leach into our blood to deliver that hurricane warning to our brain, that dread and discomfort at our human, non-human consort. Warning! Something is not quite right. Warning! This thing is not quite human like, warning! Something bad is about to happen! And as I sit here in the valley, I can't help but wonder what happened to our mothers and their mothers before. Thank you. Yeah.